Hi, my name is Maya, and welcome to my channel, Cranley Place, where I'm posting content on scarf style, knot tutorials, and more. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to be notified of new videos, which I'm publishing weekly. As I mentioned in my last video, lately I've become quite enchanted with the double-faced scarves from Hermes. In this video, I'll talk a bit about the origin of this concept and check out some of what's available this season, along with more about the designs and the artists behind them. For over a century, Hermes has created original products that start out of necessity and then marry elegance and artisanship. In 1937, wood blocks were used to create the first scarves signed Hermes. One side was colored until the dyes seeped through to the other, which would mark a technical breakthrough for printing different colors on both sides of a delicate silk scarf. The secret has been guarded by its artisans for decades. So while the details of their production process are shrouded in secrecy, what we do know of Hermes's double-faced scarves, which launched as part of the brand's spring-summer 2020 collection, is that it is a concept that took over 10 years to perfect. According to Bally Barrett, former artistic director of the women's universe at Hermes, the idea of a double-sided scarf first came to her from a silk scarf found in a military surplus store, which was printed with a different military map on each side. She said, quote, at first, the craftsman told me it was impossible to do. Technology has evolved a great deal in the last 15 years, and one day the craftsman said, maybe. And then the adventure began. Sometimes it's just a matter of time and tenacity. It's a fine and complex work, which was developed by the craftsmen and textile engineers of Lyon for three or four years, end quote. We see this genius convergence of technology, craftsmanship, and tradition now in this breakthrough format, which Barrett called, quote, a great innovation in the history of silk printing, end quote. Let's take a closer look at some of the designs from this season. Equestrian-themed scarves from Hermes are, of course, a throwback to its very beginnings as a bridle and harness company for horses. And the house, in fact, continues to create saddles and accessories for riders to this day. In this design, French sculptor and cartoonist Jean-Louis Sauva, who is reportedly an experienced writer himself, celebrates the art of dressage. Dressage is a French term most commonly translated as training and is a form of horse riding performed in exhibition and competition, as well as an art often pursued purely for the sake of mastery. You see three horses trotting around in a graceful circle, creating rhythmic fluid lines. The double-sided print, of course, adds to the color dimensions of this scarf. With this double-faced scarf, longtime designer Pierre-Marie retraces 10 years of creation for the House of Hermes, from L'Ombrelle Magique, designed in 2010, to the more recent Duel Onirique. The references include delicate foliage, playing cards, mosaics, and multiple geometric patterns. You can see traces of a la Maison de Carré in one corner, while in another, an inverted hourglass echoes the Laboratoire du Temps. This double-faced scarf, vibrant on one side and pastel on the other, is a tribute to Fassonet's original 1963 design inspired by a Renaissance-era astrological table conserved at the Paris Observatory. A regular Hermes collaborator, Gianpaolo Pagni, is a Paris-based Italian illustrator and painter known for using stamps to compose his artworks. Woodblock printing is one of the oldest printing techniques, originally used in carved and formed stamps and seals. The earliest example of what we would recognize as stamping comes from ancient China and existed long before the invention of the printing press. But back to the scarf. In this case, Pagny reimagines Fasone's original design, adding stamped geometric motifs overlapped with complex symbols. 
magnifique. Dmitry Rybalchenko is a third-generation Hermes artisan, grandnephew of Philippe Ledoux, and son of Vladimir Rybalchenko. According to his website, and this sounds far more elegant in French, but he creates images and objects that inhabit everyday magic. This Claire de Lune double-faced scarf is a beautiful division between shadow and light. You can see the winged horse, Pegasus, which appears in many of Dimitri R's designs, traced on the moon's surface and showered by stars. If you look closely, you can also spot the geometric detailing with its amazing maze-like pattern. Virginie Germain is a French photographer and artist who's designed for the house since 2004. De la Cavalleria, this scarf's namesake, is a treatise written by Georg Engelhard von Lönheisen, published in Bavaria at the beginning of the 17th century and now a part of the Emile Hermes collection. This extraordinary piece is illustrated with Baroque engravings and presents German sleighs drawn by richly adorned horses and other fantastic creatures. Playing with this concept, Jamin pushes the bounds of fantasy by merging horses' bodies and chimerical monsters and adding unexpected whimsy by giving one a slingshot Diabolos, yo-yo, or a racket for a series of unique juxtapositions. Hugo Bienvenu is a French illustrator, director, publisher, and producer based in Paris. Bienvenu is a creator of a series of short animated films produced for the house, featuring, quote, the Hermes woman. He used them as inspiration for this humorful silk comic strip. The heroine travels across Paris in a sports car, on horseback, on rollerblades, and by jet ski. Presented here on this double-sided scarf, the design plays on translation and color, with a multicolored French version on one side and a monochrome English version on the other. Daniel Close is an acclaimed comic book artist and graphic novelist, although he prefers the designation cartoonist, with nearly 50 publications to his credit. He's also a highly reputed magazine illustrator, a regular cover artist for The New Yorker magazine, and an Oscar-nominated screenwriter for the film adaptation of his 1997 graphic novel Ghost World, which is widely credited with establishing the graphic novel as a credible literary form. His playful dress code double-faced scarf is a unique gallery of portraits of mythical and historical figures like Marie Antoinette and Fantomas. Inspired by 1950s era comics, the scarf mixes genres and eras with a masquerade ball feel. On the men's side of the house, West London-based designer Yanni Alter offers us a motorcycle and team of horses riding towards an unknown horizon. The chrome handlebars echo a horse's harnesses, while the engine mechanics are reminiscent of a spirited thoroughbred. I love that all the colorways, at least the options I've seen on the U.S. site, have contrast hems. And while I typically lean towards asymmetrical design, you can see some pretty interesting patterns here that will change just based on the way you fold the scarf when wearing it. Another of my favorites on the men's side is the Route 24 design. According to its backstory, this is a variation on the theme of escape and freedom. The horizon is reflected in the helmet and represents the infinite roads to discover, on horseback or on motorbike. This looks to be highly symmetrical, but I am drawn to the Escher feel of those endless roads and love the mystery of the helmet in the middle and its reflection of infinite possibilities. So there you have it. A bit about the double-faced scarves from Hermes and some of my picks for the season. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and let me know what you think in the comments. In future episodes, I'll share other scarf reviews, not tutorials, and more. So be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time!